Hello and welcome back to my channel, The Long Leg Chronicles. It is me, Jacelyn. <laughs> Um, and back with another another question of the day, getting to know you Vlogtober. Okay, so if you're new here, I'm Jacelyn, and I like to find reason like reasonably sales bargains, tall friendly clothing for my tall sisters and tall friends out there. So the question of the day, and I actually remember it today. I memorized it today, just so I don't have to look at my tablet and everything like that. Um, this question is just like a little heavier, a little deeper, deeper. The other questions I've had over the last couple of days, like, you know, more about like dancing and what are my hobbies and things like that. But this one I thought would be kind of interesting. And I definitely want to hear from you guys what, what it, what the, the response to this question is, because I'm just curious. Um, we all can learn from this question and it is, what was a life lesson that you had to learn the hard way? And for me, that life lesson would would have to be, it's not what you know, but it's who you know. Um, I learned that networking and um, having connections with people is so beneficial in all that you do. It really is. Um, uh, I've had different I've had lots of life lessons that I've learned um, in my career as an early childhood educator, and we could totally talk about those, those things another day, but one hard, fast thing that over the last couple of years that's really been a lesson that I've been learning, and not in an easy way, is not, it's not what you know, but it's who you know. Um, I My friend circle is not that big, and because I am... I decided to slowly but surely become an entrepreneur um, and I started years ago. What I realized early was that um, even though I, I have people who support me and everything like that, so in no means am I talk, having this video and I'm talking about things. I have a great support system, um, I have wonderful people who support me, but I learned very early that I don't have a huge network of people. Um, even though I've worked with many people through the years in the early childhood field, I'm one of those people, unfortunately, and it might be because of just, you know, I don't know, it might be a neurodivergent, who knows. Um, but if, if we don't work together, if I don't talk to you on a daily basis, or if I don't interact with you often, um, not on purpose, but I just don't interact with you anymore. Like the people who I used to work with, it's only one person, only one person. And she's a very good friend of mine, but it's only one person out of all the many wonderful people that I've worked with, who I've kept in contact with. And she's just like me. And it, and it's, it is like, we think about each other. It's it's so awesome, but no, like I would consider her like one of my best friends. I really would, um, and we don't talk to each other every day. I literally, the last time I talked to her, it might have been a week ago. Honestly, it might have been a week ago, and it doesn't matter. It's like we pick up just like we were talking to each other five minutes ago, and and it's wonderful that way. And um, but what I realized is that because that is just a personality trait of mine, and I. I I have the support of people who they're like, when I reach out to people, especially when I started my Pavarazzi business, if you notice all the jewelry that you see me in in these videos, it's because I sell Pavarazzi jewelry. And I'm usually taping these videos after I've gone live doing a live jewelry sale. So I'm dressed <laughs> like I want to make my videos. This means something to me too. So I'm taking the time and I'm investing in it. But, um, you know, when I started, this business was selling jewelry, that's how much I realized that I know lots of people, but I don't have a connection with lots of people. I'm not friends with anybody I was friends with in high school. Um, and it's not like it's a bad thing. We just all grew apart. We are di different women. We are all different women, different people than what we were in high school. So although I don't wish them any ill will, I actually wish them all the best. In life, I wish them. I wish them all their heart's desires in this life. It's just that we don't have like to have a relationship now would not be beneficial to any of us. So um, very early in my entrepreneurial journey, I learned that you know 
networking and making solid connections with people. Like my sister, on the other hand, who sells this jewelry, she's made lots of connections with people through her corporate um, work, her corporate job. So she has lots of people who who can't rush in. Like they 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 become her customers, and then those customers have brought in more friends and things like that. So her business blew up because you know she had lots of connections where mine is a little bit more slow going um, because I don't have those same connections now by no means am I um, regretful of that by no means am I envious because we all move at our own pace and I understand that my process and my journey is totally different from hers um, but I, I that is something that I had to cope with and I had to um, become comfortable with when I first started out that like that's when I learned that I am one of those people that if we don't interact on a daily basis if you don't reach out to me I, I, I probably won't reach out to you because it's really one of those things where my day-to-day -day life is super busy <laughs> if I didn't see my parents every day by dropping things off and things like that I only see them on Sundays like it's honestly that's just how my brain works so I make no apologies it's just who I am so that's the answer to that um, it's not what you know it's who you know sometimes you might not be qualified for a job or a position but you have a friend or a family member who can drop your name and you can learn those skills when you get on the job you knew someone who got you an in whereas there are people out here who have trained for that job know exactly how to do that job have a degree in how to do that job and they have to go through an interview process and they could possibly be turned down for that job so <laughs> yes <laughs> I've experienced that also um, and that again that's an, another story for another day uh, but thank you guys for joining me for today's question of the day please come join me here on Instagram um, same as this channel the long leg chronicles and I look forward to seeing you guys over here over there and over here and stay tuned for another question of the day coming up really soon talk to you guys later Bye.